Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you another tutorial. Um, I know last week I showed you how to do iOS push notifications, and uh, you know I had a request for uh, <clears throat> something to run on Android. Uh, they requested Telegram notifications. Uh, now, actually, Telegram will run on iPhone or Android, so you can run it on either one. But uh, I know that uh, everybody's looking for some way to send notifications to an Android, and this is certainly an option for you. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, for starters, obviously you need to have the Telegram app installed on your device. I'm not going to run through that part on the video. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Go out to your app store and download Telegram, and of course set it up on your device. Uh, it's a quick and easy little deal to set that up so uh, I'll let you guys do that on your own. Once you get that set up uh, we are going to go to Telegram's website and get logged in. I will put the link in the description below therefore uh, you know you just click on that or copy and paste. But once you do that you're going to come to the Telegram page and you're going to go ahead and log in with your phone number. So uh, whatever your phone number is that you have your Telegram app set up for, hit next, say OK, and then it uh, wants to send you a code to your phone. So you know, give it a, you know a few seconds to uh, pop up on your phone, get that code. We're gonna go ahead and type that in here. We're now logged into Telegram. All right. Uh, in order for Telegram notifications to work, we have to uh, create a chat bot. Um, in order to do that, the easiest way to do that that I know of is to go up here in the search, and we're going to type in Bot Father, B O T F A T H E R. Hit start to start a conversation with them, and from there we are going to say. You're going to say new bot. And it's going to ask you some questions. Just answer them. Uh, you know, I want you to give it a name and a username and all that stuff. Um, you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. And once you do that, it'll say congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Here is your API key. And this is uh, the uh, token or key or whatever you want to call it. You will need this for your uh, Home Assistant configuration. Save this message history so that you can copy it out of here in a minute. Now, now that you have that part, we need our chat ID. Um, there's also a bot for that as well. So we're going to say my ID bot and click on that. And you're just going to say get ID. And it's going to say, yeah, here's your chat ID. Save that as well because you will also need this for your uh, Home Assistant configuration. All right, so once we have our API key and our chat ID, we are ready to move over to Home Assistant and uh, configure it for notifications. All right, so we're going to edit my uh, configuration.yaml file. Just going to add in a section down towards the bottom here for the Telegram chatbot. And again, I'll put all this in the description. So Telegram underscore bot platform will be polling. This is where you're going to put that API key that we got earlier. 
So we'll just copy it out of there and paste it in here. Uh, this is the allowed chat IDs. Uh, you could have multiple users configured for Telegram and you would list out all of their chat IDs here. Of course for this tutorial we only have the one. So I'll list that chat ID that I got a few minutes ago. We are done with the uh, this part of the configuration, so we'll go ahead and save this. All right, next we want to create a uh, a notification component. So I have all my notifications set up in a notify.yaml file, so we're going to edit that. Of course, the platform is going to be Telegram. Name, you know, you can call it whatever you want. I think I'm just going to call it Telegram. This is where I set up the chat ID. So if you have multiple users with different, uh, in each with their own chat ID, you would create a notification component for each one. So for this one, of course, I'll list out the chat ID from earlier. That's all we need for this part. All right, so for this tutorial, uh, I'm going to just create a script, kind of like I've done with some of my other videos, uh, for the sake of testing the uh, notification component. So uh, go to my script tests.yaml file here and add this in there. All right, so underneath the iOS test script that I had, we're going to add in a test underscore telegram. Of course, we'll call it test underscore telegram. For this will be notify.telegram because that's what I called it uh, whenever I set up the component. And the structure is pretty much the same as the iOS notification, uh, just a few minor differences. Title, we'll just call it test message. Uh, message, we'll say this is a test. We're going to go ahead and add a photo just so I can uh, show you how that works. I'm just going to grab that URL from uh, the iOS notification. So let's do a copy and paste. And we are done with that. So now we are ready to restart Home Assistant for our new changes to take effect. Pseudo system CTL, restart home assistant. Give that a minute to come back up. All right. 
Once that is uh, done, then of course we're going to pull up the web interface of Home Assistant along with, uh, I just have an Android device here to show you how the notification comes up. And we can click on our test telegram notification. Give it a second to pop up over here on the uh, and there it is. Try to click on it here. Ah, oh, I missed it. Uh, well, we'll open up the uh, Telegram app here just to show you the notification did drop in there. And there is the message with the image. All right, well, that is pretty much it for this uh, video. Uh, as you can see, it's not hard to set up for the most part. Once you get your chat ID and your uh, API key, I think you're pretty much good to go. Like I was saying, this was a request by uh, one of the subscribers who wanted to see a uh, notification set up for Android, uh, since iOS is the only one that seems to get any love around here. So <clears throat> here you go. I uh, hope this uh, video helped. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions, certainly hit me up in the comments below. Um, I still have a, a really cool video coming up later this week um, that will kind of, uh, like I said, link everything together uh, with some of the other videos that I've done, so certainly stay tuned for that. If you have any requests for videos, uh, tutorials that you want to see that I don't have out there, Certainly let me know. I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys around. Thanks.